Hi, I'm Lady C, and I'm here to find out whether or not you are a double agent. You're listening to The Critical Thought, where we challenge our listeners to use critical thinking when examining the teachings of Jehovah's Witnesses. Now, I want to introduce you to a double agent. Here's a comment that was left on the video that we did about fear, obligation, and guilt. The individual refers to herself as J. Roby, 65 to 30, and check out what she had to say. I am one of Jehovah's Witnesses, and I watch your videos with no fear. I go to the hall, but I serve God the best way I know how. As long as I'm not sinning or displeasing God, I'm good. All that pressure you talk about, it happens. But I listen, smile and agree, and do what I'm going to do anyway. I never underline paragraphs, by the way. I learn better by reading something multiple times. Nice video. Clearly, she's on her way out. I mean, didn't she say, nice video? Let's tune in to JT and Daniel as they get underway with their discussion about double agents. Hi, I'm Daniel. I'm JT. And the purpose of this video is to speak to you about the Jehovah's Witnesses and double agents. Yes. JT, <laughs> what is a double agent? Oh, yeah. I guess the, 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 the simplest definition of a double agent is someone who's on both sides of an issue. Mm. Both sides of an issue. And uh, I, I think about that is part of the transition for people who leave the organization. These are people who they still go to the meetings, mm -hmm. they comment at the meetings, they go out and fill search the meeting, yet they come on to sites like this. So basically they're living a double life. Yes, sir. Um, and we all we all did it as part of our transition because typically a person doesn't come onto a website like this and, and hear this information and then just decide right then and there, I'm gone. Mm -hmm. that, that's generally not the way it works. Mm -hmm. uh, you see there's a pattern. People would typically come onto a site like this, they will listen to the video, and then they want to participate. And we actually, we, we're really glad they're here. I mean, there are, we have, over the years, we've been running this site and we've watched other websites. You'll see these individuals come to these sites and they will do what is called, I'm going to defend the society. And being a former witness, we all did it. I remember when I would go on websites, you know, I would try to defend the society, I'm going to defend the slave, you know. And after a while, it becomes very difficult because people keep posing questions to you and you keep realizing what the answer is and you realize how the answer makes you look. You realize the answer many times can't be defended. Mm. So you get all kinds of people. Um, the best ones are people who will come out and say, I don't go to the meetings no more. Mm -hmm. you know, I, but I still believe. Mm -hmm. Well, that sounds good, but that's not how the organization works. Mm. The organization is not interested in anybody who's what they would call flaky. Mm. They, they don't give you no credit. There's no brownie points, no no chips for being flaky. Mm. You have to be diehard all the way. That's the way they work. Mm. And so what you will find are people who will come onto a site just like this. They'll listen to it. And especially if you're going over something that you're dealing with, the Watchtower articles or whatever. And you will literally show them. They will see it. They will read it. That this is something the society wrote. And what happens is they realize, I can't really refute that. Mm -hmm. So they go off into another tangent. They, they, they attack the person. We did a video on why I attack the messenger. And so what you're having is literally a person who is living a double life. Yeah. One life in front of the Kingdom Hall people mm -hmm. and another life at night. Mm -hmm. So uh, double agents... Uh, double-minded. Yes. And a double-minded example could also be someone that's left the organization mm -hmm. but still is there emotionally or yeah. mentally yeah. and says, I still believe in what they say, but I've moved on. To me, that's double-minded. That's oh, yeah. double agent. Oh, yeah. I would argue this, that there's three types of Jehovah's Witnesses, red, yellow, and green. Yeah. We've talked about this, Lady C. We've talked about this. Yeah. Uh, red says no. <laughs> yellow says slow. And green says go. Yeah. Uh, red, no. No, I'm not leaving. Yeah. And this is the truth. Yeah. Yellow says slow. 
They see some cracks in the foundation, but yes. they're slow to move forward. Yes. And Green says, go. We're getting out of here, bro. We got the role. We, we got, got the role. This the is role. not the got truth, the and we came here for truth. Yeah. And what I hear you saying is the double agent, if it's part of the transition. Yes, it is. From moving the red to yellow to green. It is. It really and is. And it makes sense. Yeah. But there's many people who just live the double agent, secret agent yeah. life. They've just been, that's their permanent strategy. <laughs> yeah, we, we've seen that. Uh, they, they live a life in public and they live a life in private. Yeah. Um, it's, it's really a bad position to be in, it to is. be straddling the defense like that. But people, if you give people time, that's what we have found. Mm -hmm. uh, you give them time mm -hmm. and you always encourage people, keep on asking questions, mm -hmm. keep on digging. Mm -hmm. um, they will eventually reach the conclusion that they have to reach. At home, my wife says, uh, color switch. You know, there is no yellow. You're either red or you're green. There is no in between. Either this is the truth or it ain't the truth. It ain't part truth. Yeah. Well, you know what? This ain't the truth. I'm going to keep calling it the truth. Yeah. Uh, but it's better than anything that's out here. Yeah. Well, if that's the case, then you got to stop calling it the truth. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so there is no yellow light. And for those of you that are on yellow, slow. You see some cracks in the armor. Well, either you go to red and you say that it's 100% Jehovah's organization. Yeah. And if you watch the other videos, I'm not certain how you draw on that conclusion. Yeah. Or you go green and it's time to go. Yeah. So, JT, I mm -hmm. want to ask you, what's your coaching? What's your advice for someone that is a double agent mm -hmm. right now that is a yellow, so to yeah. speak, proceed with caution? But they want to go green and get it right, but they want to be cautious in how they do it. Yeah. That, that's very true. Um, that was the case for uh, Lady Seedoff when we left. Um, and an observation that we have made over the years is that when you make the transition to where you're going to leave, mm -hmm. that you be prepared. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things, that, and, this is, and it's just out of having this information in your hand, uh, we find people, once they realize this is not the truth, they want to tell everybody. Mm -hmm. They want to show everybody, convince everybody, and unfortunately, that's probably the worst thing you can do. Mm -hmm. And the reason why is because you've had time to look these things over, consider these things, examine these things, ponder on these things. Um, you, you've done your homework. The people you're telling many times have not. This is a situation that often happens when you have uh, young people who are at home. They're underage. They've simply just, because we live in this generation now where they're going to Google everything. Mm -hmm. They're not going to let you tell them, don't read something. In fact, when many of you say don't read, they're going to read it anyway. Mm -hmm. And so they often end up finding themselves with all this information about the organization, and they don't know what to do with it. Mm -hmm. And the mistake that too many make, too many make this mistake, they, they believe that they can just tell everybody, mm -hmm. tell their parents, this is not the truth. Mm -hmm. And it typically does not work well for them. Mm -hmm. The witness parent, the witness in general, has been trained how to respond whenever someone steps to them mm -hmm. with something that questions the Watchtower magazines. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter if you're a child, grandma, grandpa, you have now crossed the line mm -hmm. and you will be dealt with. And so we've seen that. So we tell them it may be better where, as they say, less is more. Mm -hmm. Um, take your time, position yourself uh, so that you will be able to take care and be ready for whatever the back, because the backlash is coming. Mm -hmm. That is going to come. It's going to be there. You want to be able to make sure that you are prepared for it. So, you know, when you move into the green, you know what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Just make sure you stop and think before you jump. To Outstanding. Bed. Three types of witnesses. The red says, no, I'm not going. Yellow says slow, mm -hmm. proceed with caution, I'm doing homework, and green says grow and go. Yeah. And the purpose of all of these videos is to invite all of us to move from yellow to green. I was just thinking, the, my only thing is it just drives back to what we've always emphasized. Think critically, ask critical thinking questions. That's the key. I'm Daniel. I'm JT. Hey, this is Lady C. Thank you for tuning in to The Critical Thought. We appreciate having you in our audience. Not only that, but we invite you to subscribe to our channel and be sure to hit that bell so that you can receive notifications when we upload new content. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and give us a thumbs up if you like this video.
Thank you for being in our audience. This program was sponsored by Critical Thinkers.